get out the road I told you a car's coming I stop you you know I always got you you know I always got you hi guys I am so happy to come to your screens with another video guys I am so happy to see you back like if you're new here thank you thank you for coming to my channel <laughs> and if you are old like you are part of the family thank you so much for coming back and for sticking with me oh my goodness i got this break at work and i decided to record this for you guys um but before then let me get my snack ready before my time is up okay so i'm gonna have um this low fat greek yogurt um tilts or whatever i got it from aldi first time and it's a coconut flavor and i love coconut so i will taste it and let you guys know if you know it's nice all right guys so in today's video i'm going to talk about um my experience like oh sorry i didn't show you so this has um some chocolate and some coconut flakes and almond and stuff like that it was in here and i had to you know pour it here and mix it let's dig in <laughs> all right guys so in today's video i'm going to talk about um my experience of having a covid test guys it wasn't fun at all let me taste and tell mm. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Guys, to be honest, I'm not exaggerating. This tastes really good. Mm. Oh my god! Wow! I love it. Okay, guys, back to the the reason of the video <laughs> i'm sorry guys okay so it happened somewhere second week in november i wasn't feeling well i was having headaches and um, back aches i was feeling dizzy i was having chest pains and all that so i told my husband no this is really getting worse so we should go to the er so we went to the er um and um they asked me what was going on. The moment I mentioned headache, they said it's COVID related. Like it's a symptom for COVID. So my husband cannot stay with me just in case I have COVID. That means he is also exposed and we will team up and make the virus spread. <laughs> so he should stay in the car outside. So we took it cool. He stayed outside and I stayed indoors. Um, so they took my vitals and everything and... I was just there. I was there for like close to five hours and no one had attended to me after taking my vitals. That was the only thing they did. So, and guys, um, I pulled something like a flesh. You know, when you put your hand in water for a long time, um, a part of your flesh, you know, was sticking here and I pull it out. That's why you see this. It's nothing serious. Okay. So <laughs> back to the story. So, um, I was there for close to five hours and no one had attended to me after taking my vitals. So my husband came in and he was getting so furious because I was still in pain and I needed someone to check on me. So we ended up going to another hospital. So when we went there, um, they also asked me the reason for being there. I told them everything. But the good part is after taking all the details, they called me in and they took her blood work um they took um they had a checks x-ray they did um all all the things they had to do but the only thing was they did not have a bed so then again we had to go back to the waiting room and wait for an empty room so we waited also there for close to three hours before they got us a room but i was thankful because at least they took my blood they they did some you know essential things 
so um they got me a room the doctor came to check on me he asked what was going on and i told him everything and he said he was going to double check um on my lab test and everything and get back to me so he came back um i think also close to two hours or three hours something like that we waited so long like that day it was hectic so he came back and he said um there was nothing found like he could not see what was going on oh my god that was the scary part because sometimes when you don't know what is going on with you it's scary you know at least if you know what is going on you know how to treat it so i asked him if they could do um, a COVID test and he said i am not showing any symptoms for it so he doesn't see the need to do it okay so we got discharged came home had a nap for like four hours and when I got, I, I got up from the nap, guys, everything I ate was better. It was bitter. Even water was bitter. Who? What is going on? So there is this agent's care in my neighborhood. I called them and they said, oh, yes, they are taking new um, patients. I can walk in and um, be tested for it. If I'm having symptoms so I went in there and even the doctor over there he tried to talk me out of taking the test not that he did not want me to take it but he was surprised that I didn't look like someone who was sick I'm um, like as crazy as it might sound because COVID is not written on your face it's not written on your dress or anything but he just didn't want to take it because from the conversation and from everything he asked i did not mention any symptom related to COVID. but then again he went ahead to you know um put in the order for me but what they said was i could not get tested in the facility or in the clinic or whatever so um i had to go outside in my car to get tested because um they say that when they put the um q-tips down your nose and maybe you cough or something just in case the virus is within you or excuse you are infected it would not you know stay within the facility so i had to go in my um, car get back door like get to the back door of the facility and they tested me in the car so um the result was gonna come up um three to five business days so i had to go back home and call them later to check up with them but what really got in me was they told me that since i have taken the test and i do not know the result yet i should try and stay away from family guys this was no fun it really hit me so strong because it was going to be hard to stay away from my it really got into me guys but i don't know <laughs> so when i got home <laughs> the crazy thing was the moment we got to the door that is what um my oldest daughter that is what like she always does whenever someone opens the door she runs to the door she thinks it's either me the dad or the grandma or a family member so she runs to the door so she knew that we were outside so the moment i we opened the door she came running to us mommy daddy and i'm like this is crazy I have been told to stay away from family and my daughter is running guys i was very positive i knew that nothing was wrong but then again for the benefit of the doubt because i am a nurse i am um exposed out there so you just cannot tell so i just wanted to be on the um, safer side because i have kids in the house and i just want to i just wanted to protect everyone I just could not help it guys trust me I just quarantined myself for a day because it was so hard to do but thankful to God four days after I called them and they could not find anything it was negative I think I have the results here guys let me show you all right guys so this is how the result looks like hopefully you can see that so it has the name of the lab they took um the specimen or the sample or whatever to and that is the result 
here that says um, coronavirus and some numbers here. I don't know if you see it. And this is the result. It says not detected. Just so you know, you know it was me, <laughs> guys. This is my name right here. Bye, Christina Titi. Okay, guys. So this is the result, and it came out negative. I was so relieved because at least I know where I stood. And I finally found out that it was too much stress on me. That was why I was feeling all this pain. I needed more rest, guys. I needed more rest because I was working myself out. So that was basically it. But at that period, like from the ER to the agent's care, and like I just kept pondering on this whole virus thing. Like it really got into me and I got depressed for some time because i kept thinking about these families who are out there who have tested positive and they have to go through all of this you know guys i just it was it was just a different feeling but i pray and hope that god see us through all this that has been happening i always tell my mom this is the end of the world to be honest because this coronavirus it has shut a lot of things both physically spiritually emotionally like name it it has shut a lot of things down it has changed a lot of things it has ugh, guys i just even can't find the words for it and i know it's a wake-up call for all of us um to be in right standing with God if we are not and to also you know know um, how we will lead our life because you never know you never know what the next day um, is about you never know you just never know so on this note I will just say that God be with us all and protect us and keep us safe from this pandemic and from all this distractions you know going out there and keep our family safe so on this note guys if you like this video do not forget to give me a thumbs up like um comment and share this video and also please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so when i upload any video you will be first to know it guys i'm going back to my yogurt mm. <laughs> Excuse me. You are invited anyway. It tastes real good, guys. I got it from Aldi. You can try it whenever you go to Aldi. Just tell them I told you to got it. So they should give it to you for free. Yeah. All right. <laughs> mm. On this note, guys, I will see you in the next video. I love you all. And God bless you. <laughs>